In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a volume in Rhino and sort of split it. So I'm going to first remove this corner of this volume. To do that, I'm going to make a rectangle on the surface. So I'll go from my perspective view to my right view. And then I'm going to extrude, extrude that curve Okay, now I'm going to change my view to shaded view. And what you'll see is that this object is still an open extrusion. So I'm going to cap that object so that it's a closed poly surface you can see over here. Now what I can do is subtract from the main volume the part that I want to remove. And so now I'm done with this rectangle, so I can click on it and delete it. All right. Now, I'm going to leave this portion where it is, but this part here, I'm going to kind of um, make it sort of shear off so that there's a split between the two. And next, I'm going to make a reference line so that I can um, form an extrusion line from this corner right here. And the way to do this is to type in the at symbol, the distance, use the less than symbol, and then input the angle. It's going to be 150 degrees. Okay, so this is 150 degrees from our um, zero degree origin. Okay. Now what I'll do is extrude this, this face. So I'm going to use the Extrude Surface tool. Oops. Do that again. Extrude Surface, select that surface, press Enter. Um, now, if I don't define which way it goes, it's, gonna, it's going to be perpendicular to the face. But since I want to use that reference line, I'm going to put a, the direction by clicking on the two endpoints of that line that I just made. And the length of my extrusion is going to be 12. Uh, yours may be a different dimension. Okay, so now I have this form and this form. And what I can do is use the Boolean union tool to join them into one volume. Okay, so now when I click on it, it appears as one closed poly surface. Now, the only other thing that I'm, I'm going to um, do to this is to sort of rotate this so that it is a 90 degree angle to the direction of the extrusion. So what I'm going to use is the Fold Planar Faces tool. Axis will be here to here. First reference angle is going to be negative 30. Enter enter. So now what I have is a split um, from the original form to, to this one. 